Hey there, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. My name is Erin and today's video is an episode of Hashtag Friday Sews, the awesome hashtag that was created by Jen from today in Jen's sewing room. So thank you so much to Jen for starting all of this for us. This is the first video of 2024. Um, I went on like an unplanned accidental, I wouldn't even call it a hiatus. hiatus. I think it's been like a week and a half since I posted a video which is nothing crazy, but there's a very good reason for it. So stay tuned to the life section and I will explain it. Well, I guess I have to explain it now. Anyway, it's not a big deal. We flew to Colorado where my husband Adam is from to surprise his dad for his retirement. So um, we flew in Thursday, the 28th of December, which was the day before his last day and surprised him. They, his parents thought that they were just having dinner with their best friends and then their best friends invited people over. So they showed up and were like, oh, it's it's like a whole party with a bunch of people. Yeah, this is exciting. And then we walked in with our toddler, who's their favorite human in the entire world. So that was wonderful. And I had meant to pre-plan things and have things scheduled and uploaded. But you know what? Life did not cooperate. And so it is what it is. But we are back with a Friday Sews, the first one of the year, which is so exciting. Um, I am going to talk about the couple of makes I made between obviously the last Friday sews and today. The first thing I finished was Simplicity 9388, this shacket pattern. I made it for my husband Adam for Christmas out of this brown wool blend that I got at Joann's and then this very handsome, masculine, cool orange quilting cotton. I also used it for the underside of the pocket flaps and then the pocket bags. What's he hiding in here? Oh, a snack bar. So he wore it quite a few times when we were in Colorado. I actually wore it also one day. It is a great, great weight. I did flat felt seams. I sure got pretty well for everything. A little wonky here in the arm side over the, um, it got pretty bulky here where the yoke is. There was just kind of obviously a lot going on there. But overall, I really enjoyed this pattern. Everything fit together really easily. Um, I don't have a lot of comments for it. It was great. I made him a size small. He was very, very between a small and a medium per the measurements, really more per the finished garment measurements. Um, it is, I think it's a little tight on his hips when he buttons it all the way down, which he doesn't do a ton, but when he buttons all of the buttons, it is a little, not tight, but snug on his hips. It's has a lot of space in the shoulders and then kind of tapers down somehow on him, which is weird because his body is also a upside down triangle, basically. It's either like a straight line rectangle or upside down triangle. Regardless, it is not a proper triangle where his hips go out more. So that didn't make a ton of sense to me. I didn't really understand how that happened, why it seems tighter on his hips. He said it doesn't feel that way and it's fine. So um, it's, it's just a perception issue on my part. But yeah, he was right between a small and a medium. I decided to go down to the small because he does have a pretty slight frame. He's very muscular, but he, he has a pretty, just like a smaller, slighter frame as a human. And I was worried that if it was too big, it would make him look like he was wearing his father's jacket, not his own. So um, the fit overall is really good. And like I said, the pattern came together well. Um, I really like these buttons. I got them from my mom's stash. Oh, big bummer, which I just realized I need to fix this. Um, he was in the airport going to take off. We have like a big backpack bag for Brady's car seat when we fly and he was going to take it off to check it and it caught on one of the buttons. So overall, I'm really pleased with it. I do think the pockets feel a little small. I don't know, there's my, I guess they're not too terribly small. And he doesn't usually keep much in his pockets there. He puts like his phone and wallet and stuff in his jeans. So it's not a huge deal. And then these honestly are just for sure. I don't think he'll ever put anything in here. But yeah, it turned out really well. I really like it. I am going to use this pattern again. I bought myself some raspberry wool 
this really, really pretty raspberry color. And I want to make myself view C, which is just a little more cropped. So yeah, that was the first thing. And then the next thing I made, I don't have to physically show, but I have a um, video of Adam modeling it. I made the Ellie and Mac Arctic Pullover, I believe is what it's called. I got it on sale. It was one of their weekly sales for $2 a couple of weeks ago. And we had just been talking about he wanted a quarter zip or something kind of like that, another sweater kind of like that. So it popped up and I grabbed it. It was, like I said, I think it was like $2. And I used a gray Walmart bundle. I used the same fabric when I made a an adult bib that looks like a scarf. Um, it, I think it was like a really cheap French terry is my best guess at what it is because it is soft on the front and looped in the back. Right, French terry? Am I on the right track there? Um, but it is really soft, really cozy. He put it on and was like, oh, this is so nice. And he actually wore that as his outermost layer a lot of the time we were there because it wasn't too, too cold. So he wore both of those things a bunch. Um, <clears throat> that all went together fine. Placket and everything was fine. It's cool. It has a zip option, a placket option, or a turtleneck. And I, uh, I obviously went, went with the button placket and he picked out these black triangle buttons that I had in my stash. Um, I pulled out a couple gray black options for him and he wanted those. They are not what I would have chosen, honestly, but after putting them on, I, I think it looks super cool. I think it's a great touch. And just one of those things that you get to do when you sew your own clothes or sew for other people is do like a little, little zest there with cool buttons like that. Um, so yeah, he wore that a bunch. I do think it's a hair too long. I think next time I make it, I will take an inch to two inches off. Oh, I think he's shallow. Yes. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that. Our bathroom's on the other side of this wall, so you might be able to hear the water running in the wall. But uh, yeah, so I think it's a little too long on him, so I will shorten it by probably an inch, inch and a half the next time I make it for him. But it worked out really well, a great like, wearable twall. It is already kind of unraveling. I didn't finish the seams. I don't have a serger. And I didn't feel like doing any of my like fake overcast stitches since I knew it was kind of just a practice garment for him. Um, I might be getting a serger soon-ish. So it was just a practice. But yes, two great successes for him. Thankfully, he's pretty easy to fit. Okay, I made him a medium in that. And it, like I said, fits pretty well. Could maybe go a hair smaller, but I figured he would be wearing an over shirt every time he wore it which so far he has, and who wears like a quarter zip thing over nothing? That feels weird. So the extra space was good for him. The only issue was that it's a little long, but I'll fix that next time I make it. And then um, in terms of plans, the only thing I really have planned right now is uh, Simplicity 9262. I was going to cut out another dress I have I don't even have it out. I was going to go ahead and cut out another dress. And then I was looking at my pile of things I already have cut, which has dwindled a lot, but I still have a couple things that I batch cut when we moved months ago. And I was like, you know what, let me just make it. It is out of a quilting cotton, a pretty light quilting cotton that I got from my mom's stash. And um, I probably won't wear it a ton right now, but instead of cutting something else out and adding to the pile of stuff I need to do, I decided to go ahead and finish this up because it's been sitting there staring at me for months now. Um, I did cut it so that this is the right side. This technically is because, you know, way more vivid in the south. Anyway, this is technically the right side, but I really like the muted polka dot. I don't love super bright polka dot polka dots for some reason. It's like too much contrast for me. I don't know. So this is what I'm using as the right side. And I'm going to work on that some tonight and in this coming week. I do need to vacuum and clean my sewing room. I was sewing up to like the minute we left. I actually finished the collar of Adam's pullover in the car. Oh, that is one thing. It wanted you to, it said top stitch, but basically stitch in the ditch to um, secure the collar down. It, it was just not working for me. It looked not good. And kind of the same thing for the placket. I don't think I have a close up of it, but you know, it folds open, right? So you can see where I stitched in the ditch and at the end it's, it's flush. The part that flapped over 
like the, essentially the facing, I guess. It's right there in the ditch, but then as it goes down, it, it gets wider and wider. And I just, it doesn't look good. So when I make it again, I will slip stitch this part as well as the collar, because the collar turned out looking really nicely. But yeah, I'm gonna work on this. I need to clean up this area. I do need to see about getting my machine cleaned and serviced, I think, and see where the wind takes me. I have a couple things floating around. I have joggers I need to kind of finish up for Adam that I turned out to be too long. I have a quilt to, to quilt. I wanna make some napkins, yada, yada. There's a lot. I never don't have ideas, at least not yet. But there's a lot I could do and I want to work on. I do need to make my next Project Dress a Girl dress because I have made three outfits for Brady. So I need to do a third Project Dress a Girl dress to keep on my cadence of one for her, one for them, one for her. That is it in terms of like actively sewing. We just got back yesterday, by the way, from Colorado. So I'm still, I feel like our New Year's start was kind of delayed because we were gone. Today was our first day kind of back into routine and man, was it not fun, to be entirely honest. We ran errands and stuff this morning and it was fine. But then um, the afternoon was, you know, I know a lot of you will understand this because a lot of you are parents and a lot of you were stay at home parents. Um, but like the emotional abuse that occurs at the hands of toddlers sometimes it's just tough and because we've been gone I haven't run because I am a wimp at altitude going upstairs was rough for me at altitude okay um and Denver is the mile high city so you know a couple thousand feet above what I live at I'm a sea level girly give me zero feet all day every day we I go up the stairs in my in-laws house and I'm winded it's so bad <laughs> Um, so I, I didn't run or anything while we were up there because existing up there is hard enough on my body, I feel like. Anyway, so I didn't work out. I didn't sew, obviously, because and it, they don't, I don't have sew. Just like all of my normal ways to regulate myself so that I can regulate the little person who's learning how to regulate their emotions. Like that, this piece was missing. Um, but we got to the, that's why I look like this. We got to the gym, got our swim in, got my run in. We're, we're, we're gonna get back on track. But man, this afternoon was rough. She didn't nap. I haven't complained about her sleep in a while. So here here's my starting off the new year with my complaining about her sleep. It's fine. She's doing so much better overnight. Honestly, I didn't wanna say anything and jinx it, but her overnights are much, much better. Um, it's just she doesn't, she doesn't wanna nap. So she gets cranky. One of the really, really, really cool parts of our trip to Colorado besides surprising my in-laws and they were like gobsmacked, not at all expecting us. It was awesome. Um, was I got to meet a subscriber, which was really cool. Her name was Lynn. Oh, excuse me. We had lunch one day and it was so nice. It was weird. We agreed that like, this was weird. You're meeting someone you met on the internet, but it was really, really lovely. We talked about sewing and all kinds of stuff. And we were there for, I think a long time. I think total like two and a half, three hours or something. It was wonderful. And she so, so kindly brought me a little bag of some goodies. So I'll show you guys those because they're really, really sweet. The first thing was this measuring gauge, which I've seen before and I've always been like, oh, well that would be useful. But I have like my sliding seam gauge. I was like, mm, I, don't, I don't need to buy it. I don't need to get it. But she had an extra one and she brought it for me so, so kindly. I'm very excited for this. And then she went through her pattern, taught me a bunch, especially a lot of children's ones, which if you have watched my channel before, or if you saw my 2023 rapid fire, lightning fast reviews of things I sewed in 2023, you will know I sew a lot for my daughter. Um, by the way, I got like a lot of subscribers from that video, which is very exciting. So if you are new, welcome. I'm not always this haphazard, but like probably more often than not, I'm kind of like this, but we'll work on that in 2024, potentially. Anyway, on to the patterns. So she did bring me two adult patterns, M6884, which is this beautiful mock wrap. It's close fitting pullover mock wrap dresses, which is really fun. 
Um, this one has like a nice slit in it, which is sexy. And then just a couple other variations of it. Like I said, I do think I'm gonna be getting a serger soon. That it'll be fun to do. Mm, do knits more easily is what I think it will add to. I think it'll make my clothes more durable and I think it'll just make things a little easier. Anyway, then this is MP222, which MP seems weird. Was that maybe a rack number? I don't know. Shirt dresses, very classic shirt dresses. A couple variations. I've definitely seen this pattern before. Now onto the kids stuff, which uh, I just love sewing for my daughter. Um, so this is Simplicity 1435, another knit pattern, which will be perfect once I get my serger. I need to get this thing. Um, and she did say some, she had cut in two and stuff, but like this one is cut to a size five. Brady is 18 months old, so I will get plenty of use out of it before she makes it to a size five. And then and we'll do the costumes next. This one's super cute. New look 6537 is pajamas. I like the little ruffles, but they're super cute. Another one just for knits. This is, this is all of them, half to, one half to eight. So I can already start making these for her. Um, which I do love the Ellie and Matt Grow With Me pajamas, but I think it'll be exciting to try something different. I really like the raglan sleeve and stuff will be fun. And since they're shorts and short sleeve top, I might make the onesie too, but especially the shorts and the short sleeve top. It doesn't matter the length of the sleeves and the pants, obviously. So for the summer here in Mississippi, this will be more way now. Um, this is doll clothes actually, Simplicity 4707. They're super cute. And I do actually want to get or make Brady some dolls pretty soon. Um, so this will be perfect. And Lynn had also mentioned like maybe we can make some stuff like this for the Etsy shop. So great ideas and so cute. Little bonnets. Bonnets are so cute. <laughs> then this one. So cute. This is from Green Bee Patterns and it is just a modern baby layette set, which Brady is definitely sized out of this, but hopefully in a few years for a second child or um, for friends and stuff, this will be super great. Uh, it has snaps in the crotch. What a concept. I've complained about that on small children's patterns before. Snaps in the crotch. Hmm. Wow, amazing, because it's like they have diapers and stuff. This uh, crossover type of top is really, really good for the very beginning when they're super fresh and they still have the umbilical cord. Uh, stump. So this is super cute. And the little hats. I will definitely be making this for a potential super child, um, potential second child. Not imminently by any means, but when the time comes, super cute. And then the last two are costumes. Um, Lynn has made some amazing costumes. She showed me pictures and has sent me pictures. I have an email, by the way, if you also want to send me pictures of what you make, it's down in the description box. Um, she's made some amazing costumes. This one is Simplicity 1233. It's frozen. Which is, God, such an old movie now, but I think it's going to be a classic for a very, very long time. And um, we don't let Brady watch TV really yet. We'll put football on sometimes and she watches them play football for a couple minutes. But we haven't let her watch like, shows or cartoons or movies really yet. Um, but we do play some of the music and she has this little Tony box where you put magnetic characters on there. And one of those we got her in December was an Olaf and she really likes the Olaf one and the music on it. All that to say, I think I will be using this in the future. And then all the princesses, Butterick 4320, which will be great either for like Halloween costumes or other costumes or just dress up. My sister and I played dress up so much and a bunch of the clothes we had, my mom had made us. So I can definitely see myself using these to make awesome, using both of these, to make awesome dress up dresses for her in the future. But yeah, it was, it was so cool to meet her. So like I said, I do have an email down below and then we can just chat a little more one-on-one -on -one if you guys ever want to. Plus I really want to see your makes. I love hearing what your makes are, but it's 
more it's, it's fun to see them too um <clears throat> i did get some fabric but i think i'm gonna do a separate fabric haul i'll show that one of there's still some that i ordered that has to come in so i'll do that all together in terms of life um yeah we our big thing was the trip to denver well denver area and it was such a such a good surprise and then our time there was really nice we mostly just hung out um and had it turned out they had a couple parties and then a couple uh like a dinner plan with someone and stuff so that worked out really well we got to see a lot of their really close family friends that adam has known basically his entire life for the most part and then um midnight okay god i'm tired sorry um new year's eve we so did not stay up till midnight i think adam went to bed at 9 15 and i went to bed at 9 45 <laughs> so <laughs> rang in the new year it's cool i, I like the the roll over the fresh start i i think it's fun but like not fun enough to stay up to midnight for that's just how i feel about it for fireworks i like the fourth of july but that is it no plans just settling back into a routine and kind of getting the new year started i feel behind in a lot of ways i'm almost caught up on replying to comments and i had planned sort of to film videos before i left that could be released you know right at the end of the year kind of on my i t tend to upload wednesday and friday and for most of the end of the year i was really consistent with that which i'm very proud of um, and it just kind of there at the end fell apart. I didn't have time to film and edit and upload before we left. I also wanted to do kind of a rebrand, just do a new intro and um, yeah, just do some new video components to my videos and then stuff like that and just zhuzh it up for the new year. But I didn't get around to that. And I still need to film and put out my crafty bits quilty bits makes of 2023 which i am gonna film this weekend and upload next wednesday as my wednesday video but yeah i just all the stuff that i wanted to like have ready and do didn't happen but that's okay because that's just kind of life um and i will get to it and you don't need the new year to start things fresh fresh start can happen at any time a new intro video can happen at any time um and it's it is what it is and i don't think anyone minds <laughs> Honestly, let me know in the comments if you feel strongly that my intro video needs to change. I'm I'm sure I won't get a comment saying that because either people don't feel that way or they're too nice because everyone here is so nice. Okay, now I'm rambling. That's it for today's episode of Friday So Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you hit the like button. And then if you are not subscribed, I hope you consider subscribing and comment down below or send me an email letting me know what you are up to. I will see you guys again in the next video on Wednesday for my 2023 crafty mix. Bye.